What investigators are calling one of the worst crimes to occur in Sampson County's history has deputies searching for a suspect. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. Everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. It happened on Garland Highway, that's 701 in Clinton, and it left five people dead. CBS 17 Steve Sprazier joins us live digging deeper into what's happened. And Steve, you've been there all day. What have you learned? Well, the sheriff's office tells us that this was not a random event that occurred in this house behind me. It was a targeted attack, and they say the public is in no danger. But as you might expect, what happened here, the five murders upset not only area residents, but also veteran investigators. When things like this do happen, it shocks the conscience, it gets everyone's attention. The little white bungalow sets back several hundred yards from Garland Highway, also known as US 701, in a rural part of Sampson County, just outside of Clinton. Deputies got the call about a troubling discovery. The 911 caller had talked to one of the victims at approximately 11 p.m. last night. When they stopped the residents around 1141, they discovered the bodies. The victims range in age from the mid-30s to the 80s. Deputies say there are various ethnic and racial backgrounds and all appear to have been shot to death. We don't have any indication of the connection between the individuals and the residents this time. We're still trying to establish that as well. Detectives have a lot of pieces they need to pull together in order to figure out what happened here. We hope that somebody out there who knows something will at least call us and get us the information that we need so that we can bring these people to person or persons to justice. Investigators say there's a lot of information they're withholding from the public right now so that when they speak to witnesses, they can tell if they are telling the truth. And this is such an overwhelming crime that the sheriff's office here in Sampson County is receiving investigatory assistance from the State Bureau of Investigation as they work towards solving this crime. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. All right, Steve, thank you.